everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well so today's video is a highly requested haul video um, as some of you who follow me on Instagram might know I recently went on a trip to Paris France and I did end up going to the Pandora store and I picked up a couple of pieces and um, I also went to Disneyland Paris and I also picked up one piece from there. So I thought I would share that with you guys in this video. So let's get started. So the first charm I got, and this is a charm I really, really wanted to get. This was one charm I wanted um, and I'm so glad I found this. And this is the Eiffel Tower charm. So um, this is a Paris exclusive um, and this is the Eiffel Tower and it has a tiny little heart dangle and that's in 14 karat gold so this is a two-tone charm and yeah I was I had seen this uh, in photographs and on Instagram and in some videos here on YouTube and this was the one charm I went with in mind that I, I have to get this. And someone told me that was limited edition and you can't get it anymore. So I was pretty upset about that. But when I went into the store, they actually had uh, a few pieces of this available. So um, I'm not sure if it was just that store or uh, it's just an exclusive and not limited edition. So yeah, this is the Eiffel Tower charm. And if you look at the bail, the bail on one side says Paris and it has a small heart right next to it. And the other side just has the Pandora and the S925 ALE markings on it. So yeah, I love, love this charm. It's it's beautiful guys. I, I wish Pandora was still doing two-tone charms because it just adds so much beauty to a charm. Just this tiny little puffy heart. So I love this one. And then I picked up one more charm and it is this one. And this is the Arc de Triomphe charm. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. So, but I think this is fairly new, but this is also exclusive to either Paris or some parts of Europe. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the charm. I love the details on it. It has a tiny bit of CZ detail as well. And it's not a whole lot and it's look, it looks very nice with that on, if you can see um, right there, it has some CZs and it's, it's the same on both sides. And the bail is plain silver, but it does have like uh, an embossed heart on both sides of the bail. So if you can see that right there, and on this side, it also has that. And the bottom of the charm just says Pandora. And this has the markings on it. And the other side is plain. So this one does not say Paris or anything. So maybe it's um, a Europe exclusive and not just a Paris exclusive. I'm not sure. Maybe our European friends can tell us. But yeah, that these so these are the two charms I got from the Pandora store while in Paris. And I got really lucky. I had a Pandora store that was about um, a two-minute train ride from my hotel. So um, it was very easily accessible and I and I got these two charms. And so one day while we were over there, we decided to go to Disneyland because you know. Uh, the museums and everything the kids were not that into it especially my twins because they're five they 
they really don't care much about museums. So since uh, the rest of the trip was catered more towards me, my husband, and even my oldest, um, we decided to go to Disneyland, just, not just for the kids, because I had a lot of fun too, but yeah, so we decided to go there and I picked up one charm from there. So this is not a Paris exclusive, this is just a Disney Parks exclusive. And the charm I picked out is this one. And this is the Sorcerer Mickey hat. And I've always, always, always admired this uh, this charm. I've loved it. And again, I knew that if I went to Disneyland, this was the charm I would end up getting. So I love the sparkly blue enamel on it. I love the moon and the stars all over it. And I, I remember as a kid watching um, Fantasia, so it's it's really beautiful and it's a hefty charm i like the plain veil on it it kind of lets the the charm shine and yes and on the veil on this side it says pandora and s925 ale and on the other side it says disney down there and up here it says Disney Parks. So as I said, this is a Disney Parks exclusive. This is not a Paris exclusive. You can get it at any Disney park. But yeah, this was the one charm I wanted to get from Disneyland to represent my trip. And so yeah, so as far as Pandora goes, this is what I got. I had to really, really restrain myself because I had a very fixed budget and I did not want to go over that. But um, after I bought all of this, my husband was like, oh, this is my anniversary gift to you. So yeah, I wish I had bought more. <laughs> but yeah, so, but yeah, I love all these charms. And oh, I forgot to show you that the feet on the Eiffel Tower are actually tiny hearts. How cute is that? so cute love love absolutely love this charm i actually love all the charms i got i love all of them and as i said um i had decided to get these two to represent my trip but this was just when i saw this i couldn't not get it they also had a notre dame charm and they had the windmill charm but um, I, I want to go back to Paris one day maybe and I'm hoping that when I do get the chance to go back, they would have, um, you know, uh, restored the Notre Dame and I would be able to go inside and uh, see uh, the see it all inside and my sister's visited and she said it's so beautiful so that was another reason i did not get that one because i want to actually go inside and see everything and then get that charm because i saw it from outside it's beautiful they have it boarded up so you can't go too near it but they've started the restoration process and yeah it's kind of sad that i didn't get to go but um Anyways, so these are the three charms I did get. And I, as I, um, I think I said on my Insta stories that I, t uh, we, me and my husband, we tend to collect um, magnets wherever we go. So I did get this Paris magnet. I really like how it has um, quite a few of the main attractions of uh, Paris on it and so yeah I got this one and from Disney I picked up this one my kids actually picked this one because it has so many characters on it um, so yeah I really loved this magnet too and I took them off my magnet board to show you guys because I had already put that on there but yeah I picked up these two and then um, 
before I got into Pandora, uh, there's another thing I collect a lot of and that's mugs. I love, love mugs. So I did pick up a couple of mugs and the first one I got is the Starbucks mug. This is from the We Are Here series and this is the Paris one. They also had a France one. But I decided to go with the Paris one because that we only visited Paris this trip. We didn't go anywhere else. So it just seemed right to get this one. And I love, again, all the, the, the main tourist places that you tend to visit. The main attractions of Paris are on this. And yeah. And we ate a ton of macaroons, guys. They are so yummy. I mean, we ate so many uh, crepes and waffles and macaroons and croissants. It was, yeah, I need to go on a diet to kind of, <laughs> kind of lose all the weight I gained in a week in Paris because they have some awesome baked goods, really. So yeah, this is one of the mugs I picked out. And the other one I picked out is from uh, Disneyland and it's this one. And it has the Mickey and it has the old vintage style um, comic strip uh, print on it. And I really like that because it reminds me of my childhood again. And it, it, it does have an initial on it and it has the initial A, which is my initial. And on the inside, it says Disneyland Paris. So yeah, and again, it says Disneyland Paris. So, so yeah, I got this one. So that's my haul. Um, I did buy a lot of chocolates and everything, but I'm not showing you guys. I've already eaten half of them. But anyways, so this was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.